client was moving from out of state. This is a retirement home. It's a semi custom home in a neighborhood where they purchased the house, but the house hadn't been built yet. And they actually requested the builder to put a seller in because they wanted a seller and the builder wouldn't do it. So then they, he contacted us and we said, absolutely, uh, we can work with the builder and, you know, get it in there. So he said, Hey, I, I have a company that will do all the stuff for the seller. Can they come in and work with you guys and get it all in? The builder said, sure. So we got it all set up, did the whole thing. We were ready to go over there and start building, you know, do our part for the seller. The builder goes, oh no, you, you, you guys can't come in. <laughs> Not until the house is done. We had a little bit of a delay to get started. He actually purchased this, I wanna say early in 22, but we didn't actually build it until early in 23, like a year later. So the house was finished. The wall behind the cellar was a solid wall and that's the back of the kitchen. So we had to demo out that wall, at least behind the cellar, so we could add insulation. And then we built out the side walls in the front to create the cellar. So this house was all built around entertaining. So actually the original design of the cellar was 100% metal racking. And then they shifted gears in that year that we ended up waiting. They decided they're going to go a little bit of a different direction and do it kind of a transitional style. They changed the internal vibe of the home. So they wanted more storage than they originally were going to have. He literally doubled the size because it was purely almost a display, kind of a showpiece, which was really pretty. The client wanted, wanted a whisper cool and he had several friends who wanted whisper cool, had whisper cools and they were swearing by them. So we quoted them out the whisper cool, which unfortunately is considerably more expensive for them. So they ultimately didn't decide to go with it. So he did go with the Solar Pro. A ceiling mount split system. So that's the evaporator right there. And then we have a line that runs basically out the wall here and out to the side of the house and the compressor is just sitting right here on the side of the house. So it's a very short little run and it works really well. It cooled down to 55 in about an hour when we first fired it up, which is oh. incredibly fast, especially for a unit that has this much glass because it has full front glass and there's glass on the one side over here on the right. Originally, it was just going to have a center door, but the original design was it for it to be deeper so you could walk in. But then they decided they, they wanted it shallower. So we changed the design and made it three doors. And so I get in access the whole cellar from the three doors. But yes, they're iron doors, double insulated glass, weather stripped all the way around. So all the non-glass is uh, standard two by four framing filled with closed cell foam throughout the ceiling, all the walls, the rear wall, at least three and a half inches to five inches of closed cell foam, which essentially makes it an igloo cooler. It was a brand new home, but we still had to tear out all the brand new drywall and redo the electrical for the cellar, add electrical for the cooling unit and all the lighting in there. There's a couple LED can lights, but he also has multicolor LED lighting all throughout in there. And it's got a little remote. It's kind of fun to play with. We understand the aesthetic of frameless glass. It, it's really pretty. It's very modern looking, but it is not efficient at all in, in cooling. If you want to collect wine, we strongly try to steer you away from single pane glass. But if you're just a wine drinker and that wine's not planning on holding it for a long time, then yes, absolutely go for the aesthetic. On-site work, there was only about four days of on-site work. Most of it was just waiting. So we came in, we demoed and built the new walls and cell and framing and had the cooling unit roughed in in, in one day, drywalled the second day, and then measured for the racking. And then it was just waiting until those things were done. And then we came back in and installed the racking one day and the door guys came another day and it was done and ready to go.